On the morning of September 30th, 2022, Rishabh Shetty's Kantara opened in Karnataka, barely aware of the impact it was going to create outside of the state. I'm not a superstar, so it's not wise for me to opt for a Pan India release. Rishabh had admitted before the release. Within a couple of days, it felt as if every second post on Twitter was about Kantara. Praises began pouring in and the enormous buzz around the film convinced the producers, Hombali Films, to dub the film in Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil and Telugu and release it nationwide within a week. For the first time, the Pan India model in the film industry had got a new meaning. Kantara became a film that was first released in Canada for the Canada audience and then taken to other states only after a strong demand. If Rishabh turned out a divine blockbuster with Kantara last year, his friend and actor Rakshit Shetty played a crucial role in creating a romantic revolution with Sapta Sagar Dachelo this year. Directed by Hemant M. Rao and produced by Rakshit, Sapta Sagar Dachelo impressed the Kannada audience with an intense love story of a middle class couple. So, what's the common factor between Kantara and Sapta Sagar Dachelo? Word of mouth. Sapta Sagar Dachelo soon entered the Telugu market as Sapta Sagar Ludati and received more love from the Telugu states. This is a refreshing trend for an industry that was losing its plot by blindly following the model set up by the hugely successful KGF franchise. Released simultaneously in multiple languages, KGF was Canada's answer to SS Rajamouli's Bahubali, which spurred a pan India movement. But in Canada, no film came close to recreating the impact of the KGF franchise on a global level. Triple Seven Charlie was a decent attempt at that, while Vikrant Rona tried the same and got mixed results. On the other hand, the ones that blindly jumped on the pan India bandwagon paid a heavy price. So, what is the biggest lesson that we learned? For any movie, it's important to generate a buzz at a local level before catering to a wider audience. Starting a movie as a pan India production simply for the sake of it is a very risky approach for producers. So what has changed for Kannada cinema? Recently, the Hindu had reported about how disappointing the first half of 2023 was for the industry. Kannada cinema had zero blockbusters till June. You can't believe, right? But that's the fact. We had also predicted a better second half and that prediction seems to have come true. The promising phase of the industry was started by small scale movies of newcomers such as Hossal Hudguru Beka Giddare, Achar and Co and Daredevil Mustafa. Also, seasoned filmmaker Shashank offered a simple watchable take on the perils of male ego with Kausalya Suprajarama. So what is special about these movies? Hostel Udguru Beka Giddare was a stylish experimental film on a night in a boys hostel. It broke traditional rules of filmmaking by opting for handheld camera work, dialogues that felt spontaneous and improvised, and a screenplay that moved at a breakneck speed even if it felt a tad exhausting. The sleeper hit of the year got dubbed in Telugu as Boys Hostel and released in over 120 screens in Andhra and Telangana. currently available on Z5 the film continues to get rave responses Achar and Co set in the Bengaluru of the 60s and 70s attempted to evoke nostalgia like giving a modern touch to the MS Subbalakshmi classic Suprabhata while telling the tale of a big conservative family it focused on the joy of simple living of a bygone era Kausalya Suprabhata Rama was visually appealing had soothing songs asked the right questions and ensured it turned out to be a decent family outing for the audience interestingly directors of all the three films admitted that it was the success of daredevil mustafa that gave them the belief daredevil mustafa in an entertaining way told the importance of religious harmony so what's the secret behind the success of these movies These movies avoided the disastrous fate of other good small scale films of 2022. How did they do that? Apart from being helped by a focused story and fine performances, they also catered to the right target audience. So in this day and age, how important are promotions? Promote or perish has become the mantra today in the film industry. 
ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ ಹುಡುಗರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಟೀಮ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಮೋಷನಲ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಪುನೀತ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಮ್ಯಾ ವೈಲ್ ದ ಮೇಕರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇ ಡಬಿಲ್ ಮುಸ್ತಫಾ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಮೂವೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಗೇವ್ ಅವೇ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೌಸಲ್ಯ ಸುಪ್ರಜಾ ರಾಮ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಶಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಫೇವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಪ್ರಮೋಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಕ್ವರ್ಕಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಟು ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಮೂವಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರರಿ ಸಿಂಧು ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಚಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಕೋ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಶೂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಜೆಟ್ In Achar & Co, the protagonist, essayed by Sindhu herself, is an entrepreneur who sells pickles. The film team tied up with a pickle company and gave away Achar & Co branded pickle bottles to those who came to theatres to watch their movie. This interesting phase of the Kannada film industry has shown us something very crucial. Quality content made for a specific target audience and if promoted well, can work wonders in theatres. big budget films that promise a spectacle with fights songs and dance need not always do well on the big screens so let's see what else the kannada film industry has in store for the year 2023